Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at text input fields. So let's get started. So like before, we are going to test it on our Python platform as well. So here we are using PyCharm. So we are going to create a new project here and a new directory to be specific. And we are going to write here text input and that will create our folder and we will copy the path of this, the absolute path. And then we are going to go back to our Py Visual projects and we are going to create a new project and we are going to call it text input. And right away, we are going to link it to our folder text input and we will select that folder view files and that's it. So now we can click on update UI and we are going to go ahead and test if it works or not. We will go back in the text input. We are going to double click, right click and run. And there you go. We have our Pi visual window. Now uh, the text input is very interesting because we have lots of features within it. So here you can see we have text input. We can click on that and you can see we have all these different types of text inputs. So for example, we have email ID. Uh, then similar to this, we also have a password. There you go. Uh, we also have for credit card. There you go. We have for credit card. Uh, we also have for email. So I'm uh, adding different designs so you can check them out. We also have CVC. So we will make sure that we can only type in, for example, three characters or four characters and so on. So let's go ahead and look at how do they work before we do that let's just update it and see if they are uh, reflecting on our python project if we go ahead and run it and it didn't update yet so run it again didn't update let me check again uh, did it update or not are we in the correct folder and we will update again just to make sure and we update and there you go so yeah so uh, this is our email, this is password, but as you can see, nothing really happens. And uh, in the email as well, or here, like I can basically add anything I want here. So how can we restrict them? How can we use them properly so that they are appropriate? We will have a look at that. So first of all, let's have a look at the basic features that we have. So we have the width, we can increase it from here, or the height, we can also just drag and drop uh like that and that's pretty much it now your width is 390 and your height is 444 then uh, we have the placeholder the placeholder is the text that will appear if nothing is available the user did not input anything and the actual text is the text that will appear as a value so uh, you can write here so if the placeholder was email id the actual text will be abc at um, gmail.com something like that uh, but let me give a better example so for example if uh, the the input field or the placeholder was city then the actual value can be London right so by default you will we will use London as the input parameter so th that's the uh, basic idea of how that works okay uh, then we have the text color. So here you can uh, change the text color based on your preference. And then we have the font family. We can select uh, and uh, change different font families. Then we have the font size. We can increase or decrease to based on our requirement. We have bold, uh, italic, and uh, underline, and strike through. So these are pretty much the same font parameters that we saw earlier in the button. And then we have the background color. So here, the background color, you can see it becomes red. And if you don't want any background, you can remove the transparency or you can just make it white if your background is white, right? So that's the idea. And then we have the text type. Now, this is the most important one. So here, if I hover over it, you will see it's text type. And this is basically telling the, the class what exactly are you using it for? So this is text, that's why nothing is being uh, used. So then we can have numbers. So for example, uh, in CVC, we can have a number, right? And then in password, 
we can have password in uh, the credit card we can have credit card then in email we can have email and this we will have just plain text so let's update that and if we go back and if we stop and we run it again uh, so right now we didn't change this one so this should be password so you can see it's already hidden then this uh, sh should not have any text input it should only have numbers and you can see it's already divided into chunks of four so it's taking that uh, card uh, parameters right so that's the idea that's that's already implemented you just have to click on that right and the email you can you cannot press space in email right and different characters you cannot use so here it will uh, make sure that it's an email here it's a number so here you can see now it's only numbers if I try to write ABC it doesn't work because we have specified that uh, okay what else do we have so then we have the maximum length so if you wanted to restrict for example password to be eight characters or ten characters or twelve whatever you want you can type in here for example twelve and it will restrict the password or the number or any characters to that number and if you don't want any limit you will put it as zero of course uh, that will make sense and uh, then we have the corner radius you can increase decrease you can see now it's a little bit squarish uh, rather than roundish and then you have the border you can increase the thickness of that there you go and uh, then you have it solid and you can change the color of it so all of these parameters you can play around with these uh, whatever you prefer and then you have the icon so here you can change the icon position to left and right uh, you can change the scale of it you can also change the spacing of it if you want to start a little bit further you can do that so if I update this and if I go back so there you go now the password is a little bit shifted to the front uh, to the right so here if I type in the password it starts a little bit uh, on the side uh, so then if we go back uh, then we have the you can change the icon as well if you select from uh, these are the different icons you can select from for example if I wanted this uh, and there you go now I have switched the place there you go so again if you wanted different icons you can select it from here uh, then we have the paddings again I don't recommend using those um, but you can push it back and forth based on uh, different padding there you go here you can see it's shifting to the right when we add left padding uh, so yeah that's about padding and then you have the alignment we can have it centered we can have it left and uh, based on that you can use that then we have backwards and forwards so I can move this back and front and then we have the complete opacity of our input and of course you can lock it so it doesn't move and then we have the delete button that will delete so this is the basic idea of how our input text works and you can create lots of different applications from this uh, we have already studied about window we have already studied about buttons and then now we have studied about input text so we are very close to creating an actual project uh, and we will create many different projects that will be useful in real world applications and here is the code of all these uh, input fields you can check it out here if you wanted to check it out uh, otherwise uh, it will work directly in your PyCharm IDE in your Python environment or whatever you want to call it so this is it for today I hope you have learned something new I will see you in the next one